Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I would like to show how I made these bracelets. I used the pattern um, 32810 for the, the normal part and then I made the two belt part in alpha. So if these are normal alpha combined it's fairly quick and um, easy to make if uh, you are already quite familiar with the friendship bracelet. It's, I really like how it came out. So um, let's get started. Here's the first loop I already made and I used um, so 90 centimeters for each thread and apart from the one I used for the loop. So 90 centimeters, the blue one, I made, I cut two of them, and then for the orange one, four of them, and then folded them into half. And then for the loop, I made another 35 centimeters longer, and um, from the center, I made the loop. So now the loop is in the center. So now I'll close. So I'll flip over and then for this one I'll just use the right one and for the whole bundle I make forward knot. So now I just divided the whole bundle into exactly the same amount, into two. So three blue, four orange on the left side, and the same amount of threads on the right side. And then I'll just start the straight edge technique. So pass it under, and then make backward. For the next row, what I do is I take out one orange and one blue, the closest one to the center, and then do the same thing on the other side. same thing and make four knots. So backward, forward, and then for the center uh, threads, you make forward knots. the right 
front, the same as the first row. So forward, back row. So basically, what I just did defines the the belt of the the bracelet. So from the right side, I do forward, backward knot, same, five threads, two blue and three orange, three orange, forward, backward, now backward. So this is a um, basically an alpha uh, way to to knot and using straight edge technique. So basically, for the belt part of the bracelet, you repeat. That's uh, what I just did on the second and third row. So all the way to until um, maybe like when you're not up to like 3.5 centimeters, you do the same thing. I'll do one more time. Okay, so for this pattern, 32810, and basically I cut the pattern like this way. So one clover and two little squares or diamond on the side. So in order to do that, this is how I did. So the reason I used double base string was because I wanted to start from here using those two um, double base string used knot <laughs> and so that's why you needed to have one blue and one orange so now what I do is I just make so with the blue the red on the left one I make backward knot and then on the right side I make one forward knot so now these two knots in the center these are on the row eight, these two knots. And now, in order to make these line, the same thing as the triangle starts. So, this white string on the pattern, which is orange, on my bracelet, that is the one which is coming out from here, both sides. So now, we need to have the blue thread coming out from this line and then after that it's orange blue orange orange and then the last one should be the blue so now i will make this blue thread out from the bundle
And in order to do that, I actually use the one which is just coming out from the knot you make. So with this one, hold, forward, and backward. And now, the next one, as you can see on the pattern, we need orange. But I would like to keep the color of the outside. So use one of the blue thread, make one forward knot, and then take out one orange so that it comes out. And then do the back row. So now I just show the right side. That we needed to have the orange, blue, and orange. And this is what's happening. Orange, blue, and orange. And now we need blue. So the one I just used, I just do it again. Forward, backward knot. And just leave it there. And now we need two orange coming out from this line. So I'll use the last blue thread forward, take out the orange, and then So the last part, the blue one, has to be on the, the, the left side. So what I do is just do forward knot. One, two. So I finished the right side. Now I do the same thing on the left side. Okay, so I'll just show one row how I'll do and for the normal pattern here. So I'll start from this knot on the ninth row. So take two threads in the center. And just make, I, I really like backward knots, so I always start with backward knot whenever I have choice. And then make sure you fill the gap of the two knots you made and then just go the way go all the way Mm 
Basically, this is uh, how I shifted from on alpha to the normal pattern. And then just follow the pattern. And on the next clip, in the next clip, I'll show how I closed and then um, shifted back to alpha. Okay, so now you can see I just finished knotted the normal part and what I did is I knotted including this square again so I started from this square and then I knotted the the clover and then I included the square again and then one more line row um, diagonal row to complete so the last knot is this one, right here. So now we're going to close here before we shift back to the alpha pattern. So um, I'll start from the left side. So not to forget, I will just make one forward knot here. This will fill the gap just like we did on the opposite side and now we're gonna close here and so this time I would like to make all blue here so what I would do is I'll do backward knot on this orange one and then forward knot Now, take this, the next one, together with this, first one, I'll do again. So it's actually kind of opposite. Usually we would like to do um, forward knot with the left string, but you do kind of like cover and you backward knot. And forward knot. Actually I had to try several times to see what would work well because the normal one that I usually use didn't work. So now take the next one and then again the three this backward knot here then forward knot and then one more backward and forward kind of back to where we started the normal pattern as you can see so it, now we do the same thing on the right side
that I just finished and closed the normal pattern around with my orange one. Like this, five, two, two, five. And so we're back to the belt part on the other side. Okay, so now I just have to do the same thing as I did for the first side and the, make the belt as, um, as long as you need. Uh, what I did is I made like 3.5 centimeters um, on the first side and for the second side I made like 5 centimeters which is like 2 inches. Okay, so now I just finished and so after I knotted the belt part, I just did exactly the opposite way, the way I did the beginning, two knots, and then um, the thread, I um, put it through the two knots, flipped over, and then, oh, I didn't put it that here very well, and then make one big knot to close, and then included that uh, leading string, lead string, uh -huh. um, which I use for alpha in one of the, the twisted braids. So one has nine and one has uh, eight uh, threads. And just uh, cut the way. So this is how it looks in the back. So as you can see, this one has the belt with alpha, so it's pretty tight here and then in the middle. It's a little flexible, so um, I like how it turned out. And my second one actually got much better because the first one I tried many things and in fact I forgot to, um, to count the number of threads. So what I did is I just assumed the green has eight and the orange, I mean or pink, has six which is opposite. So as you can see, I had to add one string and I had to reduce one green the string. So that's why it was a little messy. And I'm glad that this time I counted and I, I started off well. And also, um, I think it's it will be nice if you like to, to make this loop in the same color as the background color of the center. I think that would be also nice. Um, I might try that for the next one. So, here it is. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed um, um, watching this and if you like my videos, please um, consider subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. And um, hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.